Hey, hey, Reb here, Rebecca. Just not Becky. So I have a big project and I thought, why not do it with you instead of just doing it by myself like I always do without thinking that maybe you'd like to see. And this one is kind of cool. So I made friends with the people at the greenhouse at the university. Oh. Something's making a really high-pitched noise. Oh, you know when you get that... Something's making a noise. Oh, it hurts my ears. Oh, it's a little better now. Okay, it's better. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's better. Anyway, so I made friends with people in the greenhouse, and they told me that Basically, if I want anything that's growing under the tables on the ground, I can have it because they need to clean that up and everything that's on the ground is just something that's happened to fall and sprout and grow. So I was like, okay. So I dug up some stuff today after my shift and I'm gonna clean it up and plant it. And I thought, why not do it together? So I've got this big bag of stuff now. A bunch of it is ferns, which I have never even tried because ferns. But I thought, why not? I'm digging this stuff up, so it's not like I'm buying it. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Plus, I thought, why not try these water spikes that I got in preparation for if I had to, if I have to ever move on to campus because of the whole germy situation, if I get locked down on campus, I bought a whole bunch of water spikes in case I can't take all of my plants with me. And some of them are gonna have to go without care for a while. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try out a water spike in this fern and see if that makes it go well and you know why not i got them so let's see what i've got in my big huge garbage bag full of plants and by the way there was an incident see that yeah I cut myself kind of significantly. There was a lot of blood. You know, blood thinners. Okay. So I got a couple of things. The ferns and all over on the ground. And I've been eyeing these up for a while. There are vines of heart leaf just green heartleaf philodendron growing everywhere. Which I cut out as well. Dug out. Dug out. So, look. I have a whole long trail of green heartleaf philodendron and they were grown into the ground. They started on plants that you, I couldn't even find where they started. I couldn't find the pots where they came from, but they were just spread all over in the rocks underneath the beds in the greenhouse. And look at, I mean, oh my gosh, look. There's roots all over these bad boys, like at every node. So I'm going to cut these apart and make, <laughs> oh my God, this is a big mess. <laughs> I'm going to make a big, huge, full pot of this bad boy. And see, I tried to make this little workstation a little taller so that you could see 
but it's balancing on two tiny little pots, which is why it keeps falling over. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is show you how I'm going to clean these up because they've been growing on the ground in a greenhouse that is overgrown with plants of all different kinds. And so there's probably some sort of critter on there. So we're going to clean these up. Then we're going to cut them up and plant them. So I'm going to take you through the stages of what I'm going to do. Let's see the ferns. There's big ones, there's little ones. Ah! I almost dumped all over a big bowl of soil, but I didn't. So they're super pretty ferns. And there's little tiny plants, there's big plants. Look at the roots. I don't know if it's focusing because I don't have my glasses on, so now it's even worse than normal. But look, there's a little, like, tuberous, tuberous, where is it? There it is. Let's see if I can... Oh, I have no idea if anything is getting captured here. Plus, there's no light right there, but look at all that. So little ones and big, huge, juicy, juicy bits. I'm pretty sure that is not focusing unless my eyes are truly that bad. Look at these gorgeous things. And some of them are super big. All right. Let's get at this, shall we? I'm going to make my little table again. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take these ferns into the shower. And I am going to hose them down really, really well. And try to clean off the leaves on them that way first because... I can't exactly wipe down every leaf very well with a nice cloth and cleaning solution. So I'm going to go do that first and then I'm going to pot them up with you. And then after the leaves are pretty much dry, then I'm going to spray them down with my fancy pest spray. Okay, that's step one on these guys. Then we're going to work on this heart leaf philodendron and for that we're going to do it differently. We're going to cut them all up and then I'm going to wipe down the leaves with my solution I made of water and alcohol and dish soap and then we're going to pot those up and then when it's dry then we're going to spray those down. Okay so let's put a pin in this while I go hose these down. Pin. Holy crap this has been a shit show. <laughs> okay, so this looks way different, doesn't it? That would be because my camera battery died and I don't have time to sit around and wait for my camera to charge back up so that I can film it and make it look all nice and the same because then this beautiful fern that I just cleaned up would dry up to a shriv shrivelly mess and we don't need that just for the sake of this all looking cohesive and pretty, do we? Who cares? So let's just roll with this and film on my phone and get the job done, shall we? All right, so I took my ferns in to the shower and I used the hose attachment and I carefully washed off every single frond of this fern and all of the roots and I inspected every single one of these <laughs> really, really well. 
and they all look pretty clean of pests. There were a couple of little specks that I was a little curious about, so I really washed them off carefully, but they all look remarkably nice. And I have cut off any little fronds that didn't look really nice, but there were hardly any because I was pretty picky about which ones I was pulling out. There are so many ferns under those benches in the greenhouse, it's crazy. So now we are ready to pot these bad boys up. So I am going to use a plastic pot because it'll hold in a little extra moisture instead of terracotta, which I usually use. And plus it's really the only pot that I have that's big enough for all of these. And I'm going to use pretty much the normal soil that I use, which is just black, gold, organic, soil mixed with a whole hell of a lot of perlite although I'm gonna put a little less perlite in than I usually do I usually am like a third perlite and two-thirds soil ish but I just dump um, probably because they're so or they're ferns so I think they like it a little less perlite -y. However, they were growing in gravel under the benches. So I don't think they're all that picky. So I'm just gonna use the soil mix I already had and then put a little extra soil in and mix it up and then just get at it. If I have a few little ones left, I might put a few in my tortoise planter because he's been very lonely since I took the Adansonii out. All right. We're going to get a little noisy here for a second. Um, I'm almost out of soil. What am I going to do? I mean, I'm fine for... Oh. I think I should have enough for this job. But what am I going to do? Because there's other stuff I might want to dig up. Okay, so I'm just mixing these my pre-mixed pre stuff that I had already mixed up and a little extra of that. That black gold does have some perlite in it, so there's still lots of perlite. Lots of perlite. Okay. Kabam. I'm going to start with these biggest guy in the center. He's really wily. Okay, I have too much soil in there. Cub oh, cubam. These roots are very stiff. And I love those little tubers. Stiff. Okay. So let's just pop some smaller ones around him. I'm going to save the smallest, a few smallest ones for the tortoise. Oh, speaking of tortoise, of all times. Okay, so Nikolai, my Russian tortoise, has been brewmating now for months, right? And I've been like, oh, Nikolai, I miss you. This sucks. But then since this whole germy situation started, I've been like, oh, thank God he's brewmating because I can't really run and get fresh greens for him and it's not like I can just give him romaine lettuce or something because romaine lettuce isn't good for them there's nothing but water to it it'll just give him diarrhea and no nutrition and you can't give him spinach because spinach binds calcium so not only does it not give him calcium which he needs it also sucks the calcium out of his body you have to give them dark greens like dandelion, turnip, mustard, things like that greens. So it's hard to find those greens as is, but now imagine what it's like at the grocery stores. So I was happy he was brewmating. So before I was always kind of noisy going over by his tortoise table, but lately I've been very quiet when I go over by his tortoise table to plug in the lights for the plants. Well, wouldn't you know it this morning when I go in to turn on the light for the plant, 
There's Nikolai, half out of his hide, looking up at me. Good morning, Nikolai. After months, you picked today to wake up. Great timing. So, guess who has to try to find healthy greens for my tortoise during this germy situation? Oh, there's a broken frond. I have my dollar store clipper, which is nice. Dollar store has nice little clippers. I'm very impressed. I've never had a clipper before. And I like the one I found at the dollar store. You know how much it cost? Guess. A dollar. If you guessed a dollar, you're very smart. I'm just building this like a flower arrangement so that they all bend outwards and the tallest one is in the center and so that all of the fronds start at the same height. A lot of them have new baby fronds coming up so I don't want to bury them. That's a baby. Almost there. So yes, I'm very happy to have Nikolai awake and with us again because I've missed him. He's been asleep for months now, like what, maybe three months he's been asleep. But he picked a very bad time to wake up because I did all of my grocery shopping on Amazon and now I have to actually go to a store. And I just did my timesheet for the last two weeks. A shit show, I tell you. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This has been a shit show. <laughs> a shit show, I tell you. Okay, so first I started on the camera and the battery died, you know, whatever. So then I just, I'm like, whatever, we'll just get the phone out and we'll just film on the phone, fine. For whatever reason, the phone starts, stops recording after like 10 minutes, nine minutes, and I don't, I'm not aware. So then I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Now you're just gonna know part of the story. Oh my gosh, I really, you gotta see this. There's no light here. I wanted to be able to show you how bad I cut my finger. It's like there's a big old oh there. Look at that. It stopped bleeding, I think because there's soil in there. just gonna go back at it and I was gonna tell you what happened a shit show I tell you this has been a shit show okay so first we start on the camera 
then the camera battery dies. So then I'm like, screw it, we'll switch to the phone. Who cares? Move on. Nine minutes later, unbeknownst to me, the, cam the, the phone just shuts off. So it shuts off with me putting together the bouquet of fern fronds before I even plant them up. Now, without knowing, I'm still going. I get them all planted in. I'm telling you stories. And then I finally realized this. So then, okay, whatever. He didn't need to see all of that anyway. So I show you, I turn the camera back, the phone back on, and I show you the finished product. And then I tell you what I'm going to do next. And I look up. Yeah, it stopped again. Yep. So in the meantime, I was like, okay, screw this. I am starving. I need to eat. I go to eat and I'm thinking it's pouring out. That's not what I was thinking. I just noticed that it's pouring out. I'm thinking I'm just going to wait for my camera to charge because now the fern is taken care of. The Hartley philodendron can wait. Okay. So then without thinking, I went and I found a spot for the fern and I put it away and there's no way I'm going to get it out of the spot where it is to show you the finished product. Mm -mm. Nope, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Just trust me that it's huge and beautiful. And my concern is that I have very little soil left for this project. And I don't remember if my soil story was in what you did hear, what you didn't hear, if it's in the ghost footage or not. So my problem is that I have very little soil left and with the germy situation, I don't know that I can really just go out and buy soil. So hopefully we have enough. I had a few little babies left and I put them in this tiny little pot that I think is very cute that I got at Target in the dollar section, but it was $5. It comes with a little tray. Oops, it's all wet. It goes like this. So you can get an idea of what the fern looks. These were just some of the leftover babies. Isn't it pretty? Now imagine it massive, massive. That's what the big one looks like. Okay. There's a very small amount of soil in there because I was trying to conserve. Okay. I know that it cut off when I was trying to tell you about how much I had worked lately. So I told you that now maybe you've heard this three times and I sound like my old dad who repeated his stories five times a day. Or maybe you haven't heard this yet, the whole story. But in the last three weeks, no, oh my God, in the last two weeks, I just did my timesheet. So in two weeks, you're supposed to work 80 hours, right? Well, I had, in the 80 hours, I had 35 and a half hours of overtime. So 35 and a half hours is technically full time. So in two weeks, I worked three full time weeks of work. So you see these bags under my eyes? I'm tired. Now, I am extremely blessed to be working and have a job right now and be able to go and earn a paycheck. So please do not think that I am not grateful for that. I am extremely grateful and I am blessed. I know that there are countless people out there right now who don't have a job or who are laid off or who are unable to go to work right now and unable to bring in a paycheck or are simply bored out of their gourd. So I am grateful, but I am freaking exhausted and I would not mind a couple of days off. Okay, so the fern is done. Now we've got this Hartley philodendron situation. I have taken the time already while I was waiting for my camera to charge to go in and shower them. So I went into the shower with my removable shower attachment and I hosed everything down, but look at what I have. I have this long piece. It's a very, very long piece. Now these were all growing along the ground in the gravel. Remember, oh, it's tangled, but it is here here <laughs> Still tangling 
I don't know, what is this, like 10 feet long? This one, let's have smaller leaves. Then there's this one. Look at some of these roots. Hold on. Like at every node, okay? And then, but wait, there's more. Another one. Look like these roots at that node. Amazing, right? That's just from growing in the gravel. And it's for a while that every single, <laughs> every single node. I mean, unbelievable. Look at this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, they're all been washed off. Now what I'm going to do is cut them into pieces. Where there's roots, I'm just going to cut each node and plant them. And then where it goes to longer sections, I'm going to let them trail. And I'm going to squeeze them all into a smallish pot because I have very little soil and I don't have any really big pots. Okay, so let's just get cutting. My clipper, I wonder if I'm sitting on it because I had it a minute. Oh, no, there it is. Dollar store. Again, I talked about this before, but I don't know if you heard that part or not. Dollar store. These dollar store clippers, do you have any idea how much they cost? A dollar. Good job. If you got that right, you're smart. And they're fantastic. All right, so let's start with this really good one with the huge thick stem. All right. I'm going to cut each node because they have all of these roots. So like literally I cut it just with a tiny bit of stem because it has all of that action happening and one leaf. I'm going to set it on my tray here for now. I'm going to get rid of this extra stem like that. And I've got another stem with a whole bunch of roots. So I'm cutting one leaf with a whole bunch of roots. And there's actually a tiny little growth point coming off of that one too. I'm going to get rid of this long piece of empty stem. And I'm going to keep cutting all of these stem. Look, this one. Can you just see that? There. It's got a little leaf coming. Or stem coming. Something's coming there. Something's coming. I'm not coming. I lost my end. What end was I at? Where's my end? There it is. Stem. Ooh, that's an exciting end. I'll show you one more and then we'll get at it. Look at this end. Got all of these roots. And then there's a leaf. And it's all of that happening. Okay, I'm just gonna cut for a while. Go do your thing.
That was a lot. Now I hope I have enough soil. So I've got a whole bunch of little like one leaf, one node cuttings. Some with a lot of roots like this and some with very, very little tiny roots just starting. And then I've got three long trail sections that are going to look funny but very long because Well, I may change my mind on that. Shoot, this one is really... <sighs> it's just that there's these really good roots way up here. And then... Yeah, because there's really nice established roots and just a beautiful trail. Yeah, so there's going to be some really long pieces <laughs> and then a lot of really sh short ones at the top. So I'm going to try to make it very, very full, but with a couple of really long pieces. But I'm thinking that this pot is really too small. I know it is, but it's what I've got. So let's just make it work, hey? I don't even really know where to start at all. Maybe I should just make a big bouquet in my hand again and just make it work because it's not going to work just shoving them in because it's there's too many. There's just too many. Not like I can just keep digging holes. I think we're going to have to do it this way. Look at all the roots. Goes from there down to there. I'm just trying to get the base of all of the stem cuttings. Oh. A shit show, I tell you. God, almost did it again. All the base of the stem cuttings at the same spot. You're the same height on all of these. in the other room going crazy. He woke up and he is up. Yes, this pot is definitely going to be too small soon, but at least by that time the roots will all turn into one plant and then it'll be easy to repot oh my god oh my god what is all that i've still got the long ones to put in There's leaves under here. Where are those coming from?
God, this is a really big job. A shit show, I tell you. Okay, so uh, I'm so sick of all the trouble I've had because I have done this one. Okay, finished project. I don't know how much of the other one you saw because, again, it shut off. Okay, so these are all of the one or a couple of leaf cuttings that had tons of roots. So this pot is really filled with roots already, but it's going to be awesome. So these are tons of little rooted cuttings in here, big roots. Then the, there are three long trail stems. This is the shortest one with the smallest leaves and stem, and it is still nice and long. This is the second one, the second biggest stem and leaves. I could have propagated these, but I wanted some long ones anyway to get it all started. And then the biggest, baddest big boy is this one. And, oh, look at that. Nice. Isn't she a beaut? So I'm thinking that I wanna put her, like I said, where I have that pothos up in that big window so I can put those long trailing pieces along the curtain rod. These are gonna start going like crazy very soon because like I said, those have huge roots and these new leaves just come in so red and beautiful. This thing is gonna be gorgeous. And like I said, all of these were growing in gravel. So they are hardy. And I am so extremely excited about this plant. And it was just fallouts basically from plants that were growing up on the greenhouse table. You should see the ones that are up on the table crawling around the tables and other plants because those leaves are massive up there. These were getting no light and growing in gravel. So, there you have it. Holy crap, this has been a shit show. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the shit show. Like all of the other clips of this video, I just did this part and it stopped as well. So, let's try again. This is the finished product and where I put them. So the big fern is sitting here on the tortoise table. So it is filling this area out nicely. It's sitting in my south facing window, which is massive. And right now it gets really good light. However, once the trees get the leaves back, it's gonna be fairly low light. So hopefully it'll be okay. Um, but it turned out really nice looking full and tall and bushy and a really beautiful shape. So the only thing I'm a little concerned about is it's right here by Nikolai's mercury vapor lamp and that does get really warm. However, it's been on for quite a while today and the fronds are still really cool. So maybe it'll be okay, but it might dry out in that area really quickly. So I think I am going to use one of those water spikes. We'll try that out and see how it handles it. Um, so yeah, so it turned out really nice. Then right above it is where I put that heart leaf philodendron. So it is hanging right here and those long vines I put wrapped around the macrame up to the ceiling and then I have them affixed to the sh uh, <laughs> shower rod again, to the curtain rod going across here and over here to where I have a grow light on the plants in this area. So hopefully that'll just keep going right across. So yeah, everything turned out really well. 
Um, like I did say, I washed everything off with the shower um, removable like shower nozzle and really carefully hosed those down with pretty good pressure. And then after they were dry, I sprayed them down with the Captain Jack's Bug Brew. So hopefully you won't have any problem, but I'm gonna watch, watch those really closely. So yeah, there we have it. Finished product. And you saw like bits and pieces of what I did. What a shit show, but there you have it. Okay, well, have a plantastic day and I'll keep you posted on how these things do that were dug out of gravel and came to me free. All right, I will see you later. Stay safe, wash your hands, hold your breath around people, stay home if you can. If you're not working, my best to you and your financial situations. If you are working like me, be careful. It's not safe out there between the germy situation and the crazies that are really coming out of the woodwork. Okay? Thinking about all of you. Remember to laugh a little and take care of yourself.